only one way to get this party started. It's with a goddamn perfect little fucking man biscuit. <laughs> this guy right here writes a brand new minute every single week. He was panicking earlier. He said he might not be ready for this one. So let's see what happens. He lowered the expectations. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. One of my favorite top young rising comedians in the world. It's the one, the only, the big red machine, William Montgomery. Here he is. I'm crazy. Happy Thanksgiving, Indiana! Uh, Anne Frank wrote in her diary that she and her best friend Marta would be best friends forever. I'll have to take her word for it. Uh, Anne Frank wrote some pretty funny jokes in her diary, mostly racist, but you know how the Jews are. Uh, Kamala Harris says her favorite word is progression, and her favorite sentence is life without parole for possession of marijuana. Uh, you know that stuff that they throw into the fire at the beginning of every episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Uh, yeah, I can get you an ounce for 120. <laughs> uh, at this point, is there really any celebrity that didn't die of COVID in 2020 other than George Floyd? <laughs> Jesus, wow. Real, uh, real closer there, William Montgomery. Had nothing but had nothing but fire missiles throughout that. Segment. I have nothing but respect for George Floyd. Yeah, is that, is that a George Floyd hat you're wearing? Is that you could be speaking in Spanish right now? I don't understand you. It's got an F on it. Is that in honor of Floyd? George Floyd. Floyd? George Floyd. That's what the F stands for. I love him. Why? What do you love about him? That he didn't tap out when the cop's <laughs> knee was on the back. Of his fucking neck. Oh I respect God. that about him. Oh I respect God. that about him. I don't think tapping out was an option. He had his hands cuffed behind his back. Well, that's uh, that's that's hearsay. No, uh, that's what happened. It's on video. I don't know if that's what happened. It's like on Predator 1 when the guy was shaving in the jungle and accidentally broke his razor while shaving and blood came out. A lot of people compare the George Floyd murder to that. I've heard that. Yeah. Who are yeah. these people we're talking about? And what is Predator 1? It's a movie. Huh? What's a movie? Are you Hispanic? They had movies. No, I'm 100% white. They had movies in <laughs> the 50s, Bill. motion pictures in the 50s. What's a movie? <laughs> That's when it started. I've been yeah, drunk. what's a movie? Get well, him out of here. Well, I've been drunk for the last 30 years. Yeah, I believe it. Aren't you on a 12-step program? I am now, and that's why I'm asking, what are these these things? I didn't what know. are these things? I'm in a 12-step program. I've noticed Quit like, I don't fucking like this doing this fucking to this redhead. show. I don't like you. Bill, Somebody's been drinking. Bill, relax. Bill, relax. I'm calling down Bill. I, gotta I, call I, my I like sponsor. it when William gets fired up. Bill, just take a breath. Yeah, I'm fired up! I'm going to call my sponsor. I'll see you guys. Will versus Bill. Predator 2! Hey, your Did you eye, all see that movie? Your eyes are better now. Last week you had some problems with your eyes. What happened? Yeah, you look much better. It is something called, uh, what are those things you put in your eyes that help you with red eyes? Eye drops. Whiskey. Yeah, I, I did eye drops. Oh, wow. Really helped. Also helped with my diet. Yeah, you drank that some of them? No, I'm eating salads now. Wow, what kind of salads? Uh, Pesto the, salad. <laughs> Pesto okay. salad. Keep your mouth shut. That's not funny. <laughs> what do you mean pesto? pesto sh salad. What do you mean pesto salad? Potato salad probably is what he. Potato meant. salad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm eating potato salad. Uh, William, I've never heard you use that voice before. I do a potato salad. Is that your potato salad? Voice? I eat potato salad. Is that your impression of potato salad? I'm eating a potato salad. What else does that guy eat? I mean corn. Corn and potato salad? What's your main dish? I mean tortillas. Just tortillas? What are you putting in? Just there? tortillas. What are you putting in? With corn. And what? Potato salad. And what else? Potatoes. <laughs> what do you mean, what else? What are you drinking with it? Prune juice. Wow. Big twist there at the if end. If anyone uh, watching this, especially people in Malaysia, if y'all have tummy issues, uh, drink 
Prune juice. Ah, what does it do to you? Look right at that camera and tell them what pr the benefits of prune juice are. You're the new spokesman for prune juice. Go right down the barrel, slow zoom, Zach, and here we go. How's it going? My name is Philip Martinez. I am currently in Malaysia with all of y'all. Uh, start drinking prune juice. It really helps with your tummy. I learned it from my father, Larry. Uh, it help, helps you do do. There you go. Perfect. That is some just high quality. That's for the smart fans right there. Tony, can I just say it's a little so something? I've never seen, I never ever get to see this angle of the soundboard. And Red Band has a program open called Tap and Fart. I've literally been looking at that app for seven and a half years. <laughs> And my it's favorite always my, my, been everything else has changed and evolved over the years, but there's always been one entire program called Tap and Fart. I and, just, and he always gives me the way of like, just give it a second. Right. I always have to like hold him back because he literally once he opens the app. Hey Red Band, is that what makes it funny? Okay, you're allowed one an episode, Red Band. Hey William, if you ever want to quit drinking, I'll give you my phone number. I'm in the program now and I've done it for about a year and Cool, I what's your phone number? Quit fucking talking to well, me. You guys seem to have a real bad chemistry. You well, can say that. just me of who I used to be, Tony. Wow. I used to be this guy. Yeah. Really? Now I look at you and I just feel, I feel sad. I feel pity. Yeah. And then. Shut the fuck your up. Your face is fucking swollen. Don't ever talk it to me like that. It is almost Thanksgiving. It's already Yeah, be been thankful I don't kick that fucking ass. Oh. Don't kick that fuck. Shut up. Yeah, what, be what, thankful what are for you that? doing? What are you doing for Thanksgiving, William? Last I week. I am making. Yeah, what did you do it, for Thanksgiving? What did you do? So for Thanksgiving, I made a really good turkey. I was really proud of it. I made uh, stuffings. Uh, I made chicken and stuffings. How did you make it? What was their prep for the stuffings? It is cans of biscuits uh, that you put in the crock pot along with cans of chicken. It's called chicken and stuffings. Uh, it's a real big hit. Uh, yeah. During Thanksgiving, uh, word to the wise, if you have an elder person you're cooking for that recently had a seizure, uh -oh. don't make chicken and stuffings. It's filled with salt. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have... You're going to have... That's you're going to have... There you go. That the ambulance there on Thanksgiving and not have a fun time. Perfect. Why didn't y'all help me on that? I thought y'all were going to help me on it that. It felt like That's you were incredible. doing a Jeopardy question where you said, like, we're going, what is, and then you kept talking and you're waiting for Alex Trebek to end. Aww. And I just want to give a shout out to the African-American man up there who did the light down a little bit. It was good. It actually looked great on camera. Yeah, thank you so much. What are you looking at up there, you piece of shit? No, don't no. insult the lighting guy. Well, I like that because we don't, the African Americans, I, I feel the same way, but maybe we are closer than I thought. Well, you're married to one. Well, Starla is actually white right here. This is my wife right here. Hey, well, so you did all that cooking for Thanksgiving yourself? I did a bunch of cooking. Whole bunch of cooking. How long did you cook the <laughs> stuffing for? He did the cooking. Uh, yeah, I did the cooking. Looks like he did most yeah. of the eating, too. What does that mean? I've lost 30 pounds in the past two two weeks. Really? How'd you do it? Uh, fin Fin. What's that? It is a now defunct uh, <laughs> uh, diet pill, but oh. I was able to find some. I fin did Fin. Fin Fin. Oh, that's it, my Asian friend's name. My my dad and my mom, I guess in the '90s, uh, tried to sell diet cookies, and they invested like <laughs> like a lot of money into it. Diet and cookies? my grandma had to like bail them out because they, oh, had, shit. they had so many diet cookies that they oh were trying to sell. God. Do they like still have some of those? Can I get some? No, no, they're wow. gone now. A I fun ate, fact about uh, Jeremiah's uh, mother and father is they were both there during the taping of his special family reunion. Yeah. What did they think, Jeremiah? What did they think about your German jokes? 
My German joke? I didn't have any particular German jokes that night, but I had jokes about them, and they were on each side of the stage, which made it pretty awkward. Have you talked to your parents lately, William? I uh, love your parents, by the way, William. My dad, I talked to Me Larry too. the other day. He said he texted texted you. He texted me? No, he texted Jeremiah. Oh. Yeah. We Instagram DM sometimes. Wow. wow. Look at that. Your dad's in my DMs, bro. Yeah. He wished me a happy birthday. Does he uh, ever send you some, like, you know, photos? He sends me nudies of William sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Just my little penis with the pink tip on my penis. He photoshops William's baby penis onto his adult <laughs> body. <laughs> I, I was hoping funny. he photoshopped it onto Herbie the love bug, the then, car that talks. And then he puts his adult head on his baby body, and it's like really weird pictures that he sends. It's just the black dude they use for all those COVID memes. Shut up. I just learned what you memes are. You messed up you know what? enough episodes recently. I'm fucking tired of you, William. You need to get, we need to talk about this. You need to get into the program. You fucked William up. William Montgomery a- and William Billingsley having a William off right now. Mm-hmm. A lot of, uh, a lot of anger. I, yeah, I changed my so life. Ex- Shut up. At least Starla doesn't stab me with keys. I try. Don't All right, William, any, anything else that we bitch. missed since uh, last episode? What else? Anything else? I was in uh, Tampa Bay, Florida this past week. Had yeah. a hell of a time. There you go. Shout out to Tampa Bay, Florida, the new home of Tom Brady. Wiener schnitzel. There you go. There, well, you, there like he goes, that. everybody. The great William Montgomery, everyone. <laughs> On to the next one we go. There goes William. The show has begun. There's only one thing left to do with David Lucas out and Michael Lair kicked off the show. So I guess we have to just go to the big closer, our own uh, John uh, John Rocker, if you will, a guy that throws nothing but fucking fastballs. Let's see what happens this week as I bring up the one, the only big red machine himself, the great William Montgomery. Here he comes. He's approaching the microphone. He's got I'm it. dizzy as shit. Uh, barking up the wrong tree sounds like what a homeless guy did outside my apartment this morning. Uh, I feel like schizophrenic homeless dudes are actually ghost whispers. They just aren't using their inside voice. <laughs> Imagine you're in this fantasy world where you're the king pimp and all the hoes bow down and are bringing you vanilla wafers and preparing a bath made of wine and then a homeless shelter volunteer interrupts to say, Melvin, this is your bunk. Uh, I wish they'd have to rename Sesame Street because it got gentrified and the unemployed puppets had to move. Uh, Shout out to Sesame Street for being both educational and also apparently an ice skating troupe coming to a city near you. Uh, Why did Hunter Biden knock up a stripper? He ran out of dead brother's widows to bang. <laughs> Very good. Look at that. I love it. Great job. Couple jokes in there where you made a face afterwards. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, I'm dizzy as shit. Ah, oh, look at that turn. That's very interesting. I am really dizzy. Why are you dizzy? I don't know. I was uh, taking pills earlier. Mitch Burrow gave me some pills. What kind of pills did he give you? I don't know. He said they were Tylenol. I told him I had a really bad headache, and I don't know. I saw. I met his wife. Oh, the great Lee. Lee's here. Mitch is here, everybody. Mitch just yeah, walked Mitch. in. What are the odds yeah. of this? Mitch is having a baby. baby. Hey, Mitch, I just got to tell you, it's not your kid. Whoa. If that thing comes out with a red beard, you should be scared. Or if it comes out with a tail. I actually have a tail. You do? Yeah, it's right above my butthole. Oh, my God. That's like in your butt crack? Yeah, it's like a brown tail. What? Why is it brown? It's like a foot long. What, do, can I you, have to tuck it in my underpants. Can you wiggle it? Yeah, I can fucking wiggle it. <laughs> it's my tail. <laughs> were you born with it? Can I wiggle it? <laughs> were, were, yeah, I can wiggle it. You, it's my fucking tail, Tony. Do your parents have tails? Yeah, my parents know about it. Do your parents have tails? Yeah, my parents know about it. Let's call them right now and ask them if they know about it. Can we call them? Should we? Yeah, we should. Let's, how many of you think we should call William's parents right of now? Of course. Put them on speakerphone. Put the butt end of the... Uh, I got to get my phone. Oh, you don't... I thought... Oh. Yeah, ah, forget Yeah, it's it. on the bridge. 
Oh, he... look at that. Oh, look, it's Mitch Burrow, everybody. Famously the last guest from the last episode of Kill Tony. There goes Mitch. Let me look up Papa's Cell. Uh-oh. Papa's Cell. It's a, a tale of two parents. Tale of two tales. Uh-oh. Put that up to put it on speakerphone and put it up to the butt end of that uh, phone. Let's wake up your parents out in Memphis, Tennessee. Here we go. We're about to talk to the Montgomerys. This is very exciting. There we go. Zach zooming in on William here on the YouTube. Don't zoom in. You no, bitch. it's Hello? Hey, oh. Papa. I was telling him about my tail. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the tail right above my butthole. Oh, yeah, that tail. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Montgomery. It's Tony Hinchcliffe here with Kill Tony. Hey, Tony, how are you? I'm great. <laughs> it's another beautiful day. William's telling us that he has a tail uh, on the, on his backside, an actual tail that he, he's, he's, he believes that he can wiggle and shake. He says he's had it his whole life. Have you ever seen this tail before? Uh, I have not, but it, I'd like to because it would finally be a talent that we could find. <laughs> <laughs> your dad doesn't think you're talented. <laughs> How's life been out there in uh, beautiful Memphis, Tennessee? Uh, it's We have uh, a lot of great crime going on. Oh. We hear gunshots every night. Uh I gave William a really good gag, but he, he doesn't ever use my gags. Okay, will you do it for us? You do the gag. Okay, here it is. And this is true. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, I read in the paper that five NBA players were meeting with the Pope about world poverty. And uh, I thought to myself, how ironic is that? The Pope is a guy who lives in a gold castle behind a big wall and the NBA players make $10 million a year. So can you imagine that conversation? The Pope, <laughs> says, the Pope says, man, it must suck to be poor. And the NBA players say, no shit. <laughs> That's my joke. That's why William didn't tell it, because it's, I guess, not very funny. I love you, no, Joe. That was great. No, it's good. You got bigger laughs than William got tonight. Without a well, doubt. That's a great... Th that's, that's, a, that's a low bar, but I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Montgomery, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Uh, next time you see William, ask him to show uh, his tail. Yeah, I will. Great talking to you all. Y'all all take care of yourself and... I saw Jeremiah is going to have a boy. That is so wonderful. Congrats. Yeah. Indeed. Yes, he is. Y'all keep doing great. We love you. You know, sir, your son is one of the top gay comedians in Los Angeles. <laughs> That's what he tells me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember coming home one night, sort of drunk at 3 in the morning, and I am fixing a cup of water, and you and Mama come down, and out of nowhere, you're like, William, are you gay? <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, and it didn't surprise me a bit when you said you were. <laughs> ah, tell the Mrs., uh, tell Mrs. Montgomery we all said hello, Mr. Montgomery. It was so great to talk to you. Have a great night. She's right here. You want to say hi to her? Yeah, she ran off. Uh, Okay. <laughs> Y'all take care. Bye. There you go. That's the Montgomerys, everybody. How cool is that? Always a hit on this show, the Montgomerys. You have such cool parents, William. What the fuck happened to you? I uh, started losing in Battleship to my, my cousin Taylor, and I couldn't deal with it. And then I found out I couldn't read, and then I couldn't <laughs> go to the beach, and then I forgot to bring towels at the beach and I was out in the surf and what are you looking at red band I just was with that fucking face uh, I'm telling a funny story and you're blankly looking at me well your what dad, the fuck is your going dad didn't on didn't know that you had a tail and you said you lied to us I have a fucking tail red band how many of you think William should show us his tail right now to close tonight's episode this is it here it is. Oh, he's reaching for the belt. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm going to me to you. A lot of people said this would never happen. 
It's a brown tail. Oh, he's doing the shoulder shake. We've seen this before. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here it comes. Uh-oh. The shorts are the shorts are coming down. Here we go. Okay, here it is. He's pulling it down. No, he's not going to do it. I can't. Wow. He's trying to I, make a Tony, I actually don't have a tail. Oh, wow. You <laughs> lied to us about that. Wow. I knew I was right. I have to be truthful with y'all. I actually don't have a tail. Well, we believe you. We believe you, William. I got a black eye the other day. Yeah? How'd you get a black eye? Somebody punched me. Yeah? For what? Got in a big fight. About what? Uh, groceries. <laughs> what about the groceries? Just buying produce, and I'm at the grocery store, and this guy named Frank comes up, and he's like, hey, those are my groceries. And I look at him like, Frank, this is a grocery store. <laughs> All right. There goes William Montgomery, everybody. The great William Montgomery. We love him. Let's do it. Uh, we're just going to squeeze in someone very special to us right now. He is a regular on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, with David Lucas out of commission here on this lovely day, probably back next week or something like that, I present to you the great, the big red machine, William Montgomery. Here we go. Shut the song off. I'm dizzy as a motherfucker. I'm on Xanax. You told me to say that, you piece of shit. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Why'd you tell me to say that? It's not working. Uh, if I had my own touchdown dance, I'd act like I heard a ticking noise inside of the ball and then start freaking out and telling everyone there's a bomb inside of the ball and then run up into the stands and into the press box and say over the PA that there's a bomb inside of the football and the referees refuse to stop the game and then I tell my family I love them and then I died playing the game that I loved. <laughs> wow. Uh, no, I have Red Band. This is the final Kill Tony. What are you talking about? Let me do the rest of my fucking jokes. Okay, but I don't know what you mean it's the last kill Tony. I'm not here to talk about the military, but when is the last time a sniper saved my life? Uh, if I could bring one of the Beastie Boys back from the dead, I wouldn't. <laughs> Sorry, Mel Gibson is an action hero. Not an Oscar nominee fag boy. <laughs> I loved him in Braveheart. Y'all, this is probably the the best part of my set coming up. Uh, <laughs> as y'all know, Dolly Parton cured COVID. Uh, now, if only she could... Let me do a... I paused way too... Way too much. Let me do it one more time. Ready? And action. Jeremiah used to say that. And Jeremiah, for the record, that's not yo kid. I'm kidding. I thought that was, was going to get a bunch of laughter. Here, let me tell my last Did the cat joke. Did just fart into the microphone? <laughs> wow. Seems like all the characters are doing this now. As y'all know, Dolly Parton cured COVID. Now, if only she could come up with a vaccine for my achy, breaky heart. Wow. Here's the best one. Okay. Uh, imagine Dolly Parton in a lab coat. I haven't seen cotton stretch that thin since the South had to start paying for labor. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. Wow. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Three-minute set. <laughs> little special treat. Three minutes? People throw... throw a Do you hear me? To Jeremiah, stop. He did. This is a serious deal. People throw around numbers in my world all the time. I don't understand them. 
Like what? 5150. 5150. What what are you talking about? I'm talking about playing the game draws with my cousin Taylor and he's like, "William, you rolled a 5." And I just look at Taylor saying, "What do you mean? How many spaces do I move my fish?" Is this still happening? Tony, I, I talked to William before the show, and he is just really choked up about you going to Austin. He's like, I'm going to have to go to back is to Memphis. Is that true? <laughs> Tony, what makes me so sad, and I, I wish to the God that I praise, Jesus, that your fucking ass wasn't on that stage. This is maybe the last time I will be on Kill Tony. And I swear to God, this has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. And now I'm up here talking about numbers and all this shit. It's not working. What do you think? Moving to Austin's not an option for you? I'm thinking about it. Tony, can I move move in with you? <laughs> <laughs> I could I can stay in your bathroom. I TT a bunch. I can just what stay is in TT? your... What's TT? What's TT? It's when stuff comes out of my penis. <laughs> Sounds like a great offer, Tony. What do I get out of this? You get out of it walking into the bathroom with your Speedo goggles, looking at me, looking down at my penis, looking at the, the urine coming out of my thing. Just yeah. doing your goggles up, doing the fog off, just being like, William, is that your dick? What do, wait, what do I say? Hey, William, is that your dick? Well, why, would I t- why would I talk like that? Because you see my penis. It is similar. I don't know if y'all are familiar with Tootsie Roll Pops. My penis yeah. looks like a blue Tootsie Roll Pop. Whoa. Jesus my Christ. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gotten this checked out? <laughs> Uh, the doctor, when I was born, they thought I had spina bifida, but it was actually a problem with my... Your tail. No, the thing that wraps around your neck when you're born that allows your mama to feed you. What's that thing called? Encyclopedia cord. Encyclopedia cord. Fuck you, Red Band. I'm going to be fucking happy when you're down in Austin. Oh, oh my God. God. Scuba diving in the underwater springs, just looking at me saying, William, my oxygen is running out. And I'm looking at your fucking ass saying, yeah, Red Man, you fucked up. Yo ass is dying down here. <laughs> William would watch you die rather than save you. Can you believe that, Red Man? I would look you in your face and look down at my feet and adjust my aqua socks. Here. You bitch. Here, do me a favor. Do me a favor, William. Look right at that camera like it's Red Band drowning and tell the camera what you would say to him. Hey, Red Band, you <laughs> fucked up. Your oxygen is running low. You're going to fucking die down here, you motherfucker. I bet you regret moving to Austin and getting into scuba diving, you piece of shit. You're dying down in the soul, and I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get with Janice. We've been screwing around behind your back. Janice and I are gonna get married. And Red Man, you're gonna die down in this what fucking hole. What the fuck hole. is going on? You're gonna die down in this fucking hole. Janice, get out of my fucking face. <laughs> Red man, get her out of my face. He's drowning. He's drowning. He can't. Wow, William Montgomery. What a performance. Put your fucking phone down. Yeah, I loved you in Shrek. I loved you in Shrek. I loved when you played the Herbie the Love Bug character. Just watching your front of your car. What are those things called? Windshield wipers. Flashing your lights, just saying, hey, how's it going? William is in full smash mode right now. Someone fucking <laughs> I'm moving to Austin, too. Fucking HGH before this. You're Time a wild go. animal tonight. I am just so sick and tired of people talking about spam, 
Spam, what are you talking about? The food or the thing that gets in my email? <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. A Whoa. spam joke out of nowhere. <laughs> the first joke you think of when you think of spam. Tony, I'm going to miss this. Are you going to cry right now? Think you can? Can you do that? Let me try. Let me try. Okay, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever. Zach, you Zach, zoom in, you bitch. <laughs> Zach, zooming in. Let's see if William can cry. Oh, there's some sad military music. That usually does it to a Civil War reenactor type like William Montgomery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just found out the Confederacy lost. Oh, my goodness. William, just, William, if you need help, just think about your life. Tony, I appreciate the, I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, William, get, to get sad, think about your life. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> All right, William. Um, so what are we talking about here? You got to get going, right? You have a curfew tonight. <laughs> I have a curfew. Uh Thank you so much, Red Band. I'm going to miss you playing these stupid fucking songs <laughs> when I'm trying to be serious. You just typing on your fucking calculator, whatever people call yeah, those I use things. a calculator, William. Yeah, you use a calculator. Your girlfriend gave it to me. Well. Whoa. Talk about Texas Instruments. Yeah, right? hey, she Hold gave on. me a TI-81, bitch. Whoa, he just called you Don't a bitch, Don't fuck William. with me. Like, I swear to God, Ow. when we are... Underneath the water system. No. In Texas. And you are running out of oxygen. I'm going to wink at you and be like, yeah, Janice and I text one another every fucking you night. You think it's Janice. The whole time it was me. <laughs> wow. Well, I appreciate you. We talk about our penises. We talk about looking at our penises <laughs> with binoculars. I appreciate that. Just right. me standing just... Up on the mountainside, just looking at Red Band's penis via binocular, and you look at my penis via binocular. What if I put the binoculars down on the table? That's really funny. <laughs> Why'd you fuck that up? We're doing one of the best things ever. And you say bullshit like that. William, uh, I want to let you know that uh, indeed... You know there is a there is a chance that we will be moving to Austin, depending on what. Could I go down there? Could I still be the regular? Because I am fucking churning out jokes like no one else could. You churn them better than anyone. That's I am true. churning out fucking jokes like no one else. I'd like to see your dumbass try it. Are you you couldn't talking, do it. Are you talking to Stephen Glickman? Yeah, I'm talking to Stephen Glickman. William, this is a guest of ours. You have to be nice to the guest. I don't know how to fucking read, Tony. Wow. But I keep on writing these jokes. Could I move to Austin and keep this up? You know what, William? I'll make you a deal. If, if you can get to Austin and you can find a place to live and find a way to support yourself, you find a good... Look at this. You can go down there. Right, you can come visit. Look right? at this. Li listen to me. I say that a bunch. Listen to me. You can go to Austin and visit, and you know what you could do? You could scout out some really nice storage facilities for you to work at, and you could just make a smooth transition from working We're at a storage living. facility here to there. And you know what? In Texas, you can also find a lot of girlfriends that will be willing to beat you up. What scares me is I feel like I will move down there and fill a rider van with explosives. No, and... don't say that. The, a I'm a that... Timothy McVeigh guy. No, you know that. He's just kidding, everybody. A lot of the members of the Secret Service listen to this show. Did yeah. you know that? If they ever come at me, they know it's a joke. William. I may, I may double down on this uh, on Tony's Can offer. Can you talk a little uh -oh. slower? I may, Red Band. I may I know, double I, down. I can, I can always tell. I've done this show a long time. I always know when Red Band's about. What's to What's your a big offer? Okay, if you come down and continue to be a regular on the Kill Tony show. I'll let you be on Brothers and Curse of Austin edition. Wow. He's going to let you do your own <laughs> podcast in Austin. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's, it's actually, he's thinking. And, this is what it looks like when he's thinking. And, exactly. and if, and if, Shut the fucking light off. Why did it get brighter? And if David Lucas doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> that works every time. And if David Lucas doesn't want to come 
to Austin, you can choose who you want to be your brother in cursive. I sort of don't want to get into this, but you know, I, I don't know. trust blacks. I know. You've been oh, telling me this shit. for a while that you think it's a bad idea that David's your brother in cursive. Oh, shit. And you've been wanting a, a, a white guy. It's turned into a literal nightmare where I'm doo-dooing into the shammer drain and I'm looking Okay, up all right, William. That's enough. So much TT and doo doo and da da. All right, William. Unbelievable performance. I want to let you know that you know uh, that the invite is open for you, William. But I've had, I've literally had people say I have a job for William that's so easy he'll be able to work from home. It's a, the, this other job as a car, and I go, William, this person wants to give you a fucking job. You have to do nothing, and and there's always some weird reason why They're you can't Hispanic. do it, or They're why you Hispanic. won't visit a doctor, or why you won't get out of this situation or that situation. So I truly believe that this might actually like. I feel like you're not going to make it to Austin. I feel like Michael Lair is not going to miss a beat. Yeah, and you Meanwhile, know how many you know how many of uh, people that listen to this show that have jobs for you in Austin if you move to Austin. Yeah. I guarantee it. If people listen to this show. This is the, I believe this is the week before the uh, Christmas is right around the corner here. And if you can offer William a job, offer him a job. The economy's booming. Please, y'all. It's a I fucking need real it. red state. <laughs> I need it. Steven Glickman, let me work for you. Uh, all right. Sounds great. Wow, look at that. <laughs> all right. William, we absolutely adore you. You'll always be a regular in our hearts. It's been so much fun. <laughs> I have loved every fucking minute of it. Shut up. What did you say? Uh, security. Can we get this guy out of here? <laughs> I have loved every fucking minute of all of this. I can't, I can't tell y'all enough that I appreciate oh my God. your candor. Shut up, Glickman. <laughs> God damn. Oh, my God. Shut up, dude. Make me. Make you? Glickman? William, Don't fuck go on. with me. Be nice to our guests. Go oh, ahead. Keep come talking. On, William. Glickman? I believe in you, William. Two years ago, I met your mom. You were cool with it. We started kissing in a bathroom okay, of Will the... O William, come on. Keep it. Keep it going. You were, you're on your closing. It's Glickman true. and it, I... It, his it's mom true. It, it, looks it a lot yeah. like him. Just a bald-headed lady from Memphis. <laughs> and we made out on the stairwell of the fucking Oak Court Mall, and I'm looking at her saying, you know, I trust Glickman. I like him. And she looked at me, and she's like, William, shut your mouth. I love you so much. Wow. Oh, my God. William, you are such a fucking incredible talent. You absolutely destroyed me tonight for 16 minutes, nonetheless. Absolutely, shockingly incredible performance. Three oh, minutes of stand-up comedy. I'm fucking around. And one of, uh, probably my favorite interview of all time. Closing strong here at the Comedy Store here on this beautiful, beautiful Monday night. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> See you on the flip side, buddy. So ladies and gentlemen, this guy going up first, a regular on Kill Tony, one of the longest standing regulars in the history of the show to start tonight's show. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one of our all-time favorites, the great, the powerful, Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody, with a brand new 60 Seconds. Uh, Vanderbilt had a female kicker in football this year. Uh, Texas A&M responded by saying, female kickers, what's next, female cheerleaders? No Texas fans in here, I guess. Um, I wish the opioid crisis would end so my girlfriend and I can start doing them again. Uh, you want big dick energy, reelect Nixon. Uh, Richard Nixon is so sexy, Frost couldn't cool him off. <laughs> no history, people? That's a hell of a joke for people that know history. Uh, G. Gordon Liddy broke into the Watergate Hotel, but he couldn't break into show business, so you tell me how life isn't fair. <laughs> uh, for Christmas this year, I'm going as Santa Claus. 
Man, these jokes aren't working. Uh, <laughs> can I do my other, my two last Santa jokes? Yeah, absolutely. Go right ahead. Uh, if I was a millionaire and I could live wherever I wanted, I'd probably live at the North Pole with Santa Claus. Uh, say what you will about Santa Claus, uh, but he's not Muslim. Okay, that's it. There you go. William Montgomery starting tonight's show. So nice to be here. You're in front of a live audience, William. How does that make you feel? It has been a coon's age. Uh, uh, Wait, what exactly? What, what length of time is that? It's a figure of speech. It's like three weeks. Who says <laughs> three weeks? <laughs> Who yeah, I think a coon's that? age is, is three weeks. Who told you that? Where'd you learn that from? He's from the South. It's three weeks, I think. All but right. it's been way longer than three weeks. I haven't seen uh, this many people in the crowd. Uh, it's been a coon's age. Okay, I would stop saying that if I was you. <laughs> William, so it's been a while since we've <laughs> seen you. Welcome it to Austin. It has. How was your trip to Austin? Man, I thought I was having a heart attack in the airplane. Why? I got really sweaty and dizzy. You did? Yep. What did you do before getting on the airplane? I don't know. I had to take my sweatshirt off. Oh, that was it. You just were over. And I got a little better. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I thought there was going to be a big twist to the story. It turns <laughs> out you're, you're just, just like a big baby. You I just, just got real hot. Too yeah. many clothes on, huh? Yep. Too many sweatshirts. So how did you spend? Uh, how did you spend your holiday, <laughs> William? We haven't we haven't really gotten a chance to catch up. It was so nice. Uh, I'm always a big uh, celebrator of our Lord Jesus Christ's birthday. Um, yeah, it was just a really nice one. Yeah, what'd you do? Opened up presents. Who got you presents? Uh, my brother Vance back in Memphis. How how many presents <laughs> did he send you? He sent me two. He sent me a master's koozie and a T-shirt. Wow, this is the saddest Christmas <laughs> I've ever heard of in my life. Your, your mom actually <laughs> sent about 40 pounds, she said, of cookies to give away to all of us. And I noticed that I never got any cookies. David didn't get any cookies. Did you eat 40 pounds of cookies? I did. That's why my tummy looks this way. <laughs> it is true. For those of you just listening to the podcast, William has returned to the show looking like someone electrocuted a pile of mashed potatoes. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> I don't think that's a real lie. What the fuck? <laughs> is William Montgomery. Uh, no, it is true. For those yeah, this really hasn't gone well. I uh, apologize, Texas. Normally I am... Um, you opened up with a joke about Texas A&M and Vanderbilt and then Texas... I don't know who people fucking like around here. I was trying to <laughs> fucking get the crowd on my side. There one, was maybe of, Texas A&M fans in here. One of the things we've seen you do is pander to fans. It was one of our favorite things when you were doing it. Uh, you want to give it another shot? You want to try to pander to these Texas people? See what gets them to go crazy? Let's do it. Here, here's William Montgomery pandering. Hold on. Who's someone from Texas? Are you doing, <laughs> you doing crowd work right now? Yeah, hold on. Give me a name from a Texan. What about George W. Bush, y'all? <laughs> He's from Texas, isn't he? I love George W. Bush. What y'all think about George W.? I lo He's from Connecticut. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Don't fuck this up for me. It was finally starting to go kind of all right. He's from Connecticut, you fucking bitch. Name Seriously, stop. Seriously, stop. Name someone else from Texas. Don't ask. Just go with your gut. Someone from Texas. Who is, who is the... Uh... Okay, here, ask me again. All right, who, who do you love from Texas, William? Let's give it up for Toucan Sam. <laughs> Look at all these people are mad. You don't know these people from Texas. <laughs> these people have a lot of pride here, William. I've really messed up. I was kidding with Toucan Sam. Now, William's originally from Tennessee. You guys are both considered the South to most Americans. Uh, what, uh, what's different between Tennessee and Texas to you, William? Probably all the black people. Whoa! <laughs> Jeez, all right. You told me to say that. <laughs> you told me to say that. <sighs> my goodness. So, uh, yeah, my goodness. 
William, you talked about you had multiple jokes about Richard Nixon tonight. Uh, did you just learn who that is? I did actually. Um, the uh, 32nd president of the United States. Um, yeah, really been, fun guy. It's been many a coon's <laughs> age since he was in office. <laughs> it has. Wow, Jesus. William. What else are you looking forward to doing during your time here in beautiful Austin, Texas? Uh, I think uh, gonna David and I are gonna uh, scuba dive some in one of the springs. Why, yeah, are you, really why do you always connect Texas with scuba diving? Because the last episode you told me you're going to murder me uh, when I was scuba diving. Yeah, and, and some uh, fucking springs. Do people do that here? Do people scuba dive in Texas? I you, I just don't hear. I'm sure they do. There's a lot of scuba diving here, Tony. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> the place really went crazy for scuba diving. <laughs> it did. Scuba diving and Toucan Sam got the same response. My God, yeah, it's been nine months, and I was feeling like I was on a high horse, and now this, and it is turning into a literal nightmare for me. It is interesting. For the, again, for those of you just listening, <laughs> he looks like the Gordon's Fisherman drowned. He's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a, uh, a charismatic look, William. You're wearing the hat. Is, what, is there anything underneath that hat special you want to show the audience? You want to see it? <laughs> look at that. The crowd goes wild. Y'all see this shit? Look at that. That is incredible. <laughs> He's looking Merle Haggard tonight. I, and you uh, have uh, socks and penny loafers on. Is that uh, something you read about in GQ? It is. It's a new look. It's a new look I'm going for. How's your love life, William? You leave your abusive girlfriend at home? Y- was she mad that you came out here? <laughs> She's sweet. She's going to watch this. Okay. So don't say abusive because I I I get abused when that happens. It somehow turns into my fault. Do you, so have, any bruise, do you have any bruises right now you can show us? No, I'm fine. It's been better than ever recently. Wow. Was she upset that you came out here? Uh, she, no, she was real supportive. Yeah. <laughs> William, some people supportive. told us that uh, you got a little bit too drunk last night. Uh, you want to tell us something that maybe happened last night when you got too drunk? Uh... I uh, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right. How it, many drinks do you think mistake. you had yesterday? If you had to guess, I'd just probably, a, uh, sixteen Lone Stars. Scoot up for Lone Star. <laughs> hey, lots of Lone Star. There it is. We we know what he's opening with next week. <laughs> right. Well, William, so much fun. Is there anything else that you should catch us up on or that you want to plug or say or anything? Uh, I will be at Showtime in the Apollo in two weeks. There you go. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> William <laughs> Montgomery. Fun. This is great. I know. Thank you so much. William nice Montgomery, to, everybody. To there we go. It has begun. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! How many of you are diehard Kill Tony fans, huh? I know. And you guys remember the old band? They're doing great. Jeremiah Watkins is headlining Dallas, Texas right now as we speak. These people. Joel Jimenez taking care of his family. The Mexicans all stay together during this coronavirus. They also work during the coronavirus, and they also live together. It's a whole thing. Uh point is, Joel is uh, no longer with us. No, I'm kidding. He's not here tonight. Uh, None of the normal band is, but we do have a special treat for you. We have a special uh, guest band leader for you tonight. And not only do you have a special band leader for this show live tonight, playing everybody up and down all night, but you'll also be amazed to know that he's also a regular on the show, Kill Tony. He writes and performs a brand new minute Every single week, and he's about to do it right now. This is the first ever time that I brought out a regular who then will be the band. And it's about to happen when I present to you one of the longest standing regulars in Kill Tony history. To get it started tonight with a minute, I present to you the great, the powerful, William Montgomery, everybody. (laughs) Here he is, live in the flesh. Phoenix goes wild. For the big red machine. He's in front of him. He's looking at the audience. The clock has not started. He's soaking it in. 
We've never seen this move before, folks. The clock technically doesn't start until you s- start talking if you're a regular. This is a, an orthodox maneuver. He's giving them the cutesy eyes. We've seen this. He looks shy. Wait, you think he's setting him up for the... No. Is he going to do the winks? Is he doing it? <laughs> oh, I didn't see it, but I could hear the reaction. Oh, I saw that one. All right, William, <laughs> how about you do a minute? William Montgomery, everybody. Make some noise for William. A brand new minute of stand-up comedy. I love Phoenix. Uh, I call all the weight I put on during quarantine uh, the COVID-19. I'm still waiting for MTV to release the show Teen Dad. What about us? You think it's easy staying with the mom until the baby turns nine months? Uh, Joe Biden's so old, when the Titanic sank, they said women and children first, and he said, nah, maybe just the children. (laughs) I just read a restaurant describe itself as unconventional and was kind of turned off. Give me a place that advertises itself as for level-headed Christians. Democrats are the party of diversity, which Joe Biden has proven by appointing Jews with totally different fingertips. <laughs> or fingerprints. <laughs> William Montgomery. Did you mess up a word there at the end? Yeah, I was supposed to say Finger- Democrats are the party of diversity, which Joe Biden has proven by appointing Jews with totally different fingerprints. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could have just said, like when I just asked you if you messed up the last word there, you could have just said, yeah, I said fingerprints. You did the whole thing from the very beginning. Yeah. Democrats are the party of <laughs> diversity, which Joe Biden has proven by appointing Jews with totally different fingerprints. Tips. Fingerprint. All right. Red Band, uh, why'd you do that? Don't start this shit off. Uh, I swear to God, don't do that. Uh oh. Red Band and William No, I'm not have fucking around. It's only yeah, funny don't. for about the first eight seconds, but uh, they do it all the time. Mm. Can I can I get a <laughs> can I get a taste of what kind of music stylings we'll have? Yeah, probably? William has a keyboard. We've never seen this before in Kill Tony history. Never before has a regular ventured into band territory. This is the debut. This is going to be huge uh, news to kill Tony. Oh, wait, why don't you just, why don't you just play a song, William? <laughs> wow, this oh is going to be a God. fucking party here tonight. Wow, wow. What an upgrade. This is incredible. <laughs> Oh my! I felt like Eric Clapton when he saw Jimi Hendrix and then wanted to kill himself. You know that was amazing. Okay, I get it. I can't believe you could play all that with one finger. There was percussion in there. All right, William, you look great. I love that you have a drink that matches. I look gray. Yeah, you have a drink that matches your hat and your shirt. I look gray. Like a skin color. Great. Oh, I thought you said grape. No, you look orange. <laughs> Whose skin color is gray? Grape? Grape? <laughs> we you guys ready song? to start the show tonight <laughs> or what? <laughs> huh? You guys ready to do it? <laughs> William, you ready? I'm excited. Ray, uh, is there a man that's had the vaccine that uh, perhaps would be willing to mouth kiss at him? No, William, don't do it. No, don't do oh, it. No. William, oh. sit down. Sit down. Get back to your station. I've had the vaccine. No, you haven't, No, you haven't. No, I haven't. (laughs) William, sit back on the stool. Just stay on the stool. Jesus Christ. These people, they join the band. They start losing their fucking minds. I would like to to see maybe, like, William put a carrot stick in his belly button and try to transfer it to his belly button, maybe, though. Whoa, does anybody (laughs) have a carrot stick? Yeah, we could can we a, please get a, a carrot? Car- Excuse me, sir. Can you grab a, go back and grab a carrot stick for us, please? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> We're not going to the bucket to start things. We have a special treat for you to start tonight's show. You guys like special treats? <laughs> Miami, make some fucking noise. 
God Perfect. damn. Ladies and gentlemen, starting off tonight's show, debuting a brand new minute, he's a regular on Kill Tony, the longest standing regular in the history of the show. A one-liner specialist who's absolutely been fucking crushing all these shows out here on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, the big red machine, William Montgomery! How's it going for Lauderdale? I was fucking around. I just saw your dumb ass say, what? <laughs> the Miami Marlins are so bad at baseball, their biggest fans swam back to Cuba. <laughs> the Miami Marlins are so bad at baseball, LeBron James Airlines swam back to Cleveland. The Miami Marlins are so bad at baseball, they started using their stadium as a makeshift more during COVID, and the bodies came back to life just to avoid the off chance they might have to witness batting practice. <laughs> Joe Biden has been president for 25 minutes, and he's already bombing a country. I'm sure all of the peaceful Democrats are at least happy that the missiles were gender neutral. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All righty. Exactly one minute. Absolutely amazing performance. Fresh, fresh Biden joke. That was great. <laughs> very, it just very, happened. Very well done. It did. There was overnight <laughs> strikes on Syria. Who could have predicted yeah. that Joe Biden was going to start a war just a couple it's months into his presidency? It's so crazy. I don't know anybody who ever would have ever guessed that getting the old politician in there would get us back at war. William, how's life going? This is yeah, I wouldn't have guessed it. I, you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have? I would not have. How are you enjoying Miami, William? It's been really good. You got here a couple days ago? I did. What have you been doing? I went to the ocean. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I swam in the ocean. Yeah? What yeah, happened? it was a lot of fun. What was that like? How far out did you go? Like, probably five feet. <laughs> How far did the water come up to your body? Uh, like my midsection. Oh, wow. Did, did that make you float? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? We've been getting along. Please stop, Redman. Please stop. Okay, he stopped, Piece William. Shit. Uh, this is very exciting. So, William, uh, what else is going on? What, have, what, have you, what do you do when you're in a hotel room like you are here on the road in uh, Miami? I've been uh, playing a bunch of laser tag. Oh, that's, that makes sense. The good old hotel room laser tag that we all know about. Whole is bunch is of laser, laser tag, tag code for diarrhea like usual? <laughs> <laughs> It is. <laughs> I have been shitting everywhere. What do you? What do you? What do you normally eat, William? What? What? What, what type of diet do you have to go on to end up looking like you look? A bunch of orange juice. <laughs> How much orange juice are we talking about? How many pints? You're supposed Shit. to peel the orange before you eat them. By the way. Can you say that a little slower? I did not. <laughs> How much orange understated. juice are we talking about, William? Like a gallon. A gallon a day. A gallon a day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are you looking at out there? I'm just looking around. What are you looking at, William? I am looking you're around. You're looking at ladies? You, you shouldn't be able to look at girls like that. I hope you're only looking men in the eyes. Why don't you give a couple of your trademark winks out there? See how it happens. Would you guys like some of William's winks? This is a famous segment of the show called William Winks. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, he's doing both eyes tonight. That's a rare treat. How many of you guys think William should be the band on tonight's episode, huh? Okay. Uh, all right. 
There you go. The mic goes Let's back to the it. mic stand. William Montgomery joining us for the rest of the show over there on the band, everybody. Can we hear some of that sweet, sweet music, William? There you go. Jump right into it. This is what, uh, this is what William as the band leader sounds like. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Just so there will be no band tonight, I do believe. But, uh, but you know what? We could do something a little fun. You guys want to start off with a special treat, huh? Yeah. Or should we go to the bug? Bu special treat? Yeah. All right, then we will. Ladies and gentlemen, kicking off tonight's show with a brand new minute. He is the longest standing regular in the history of Kill Tony. He is here in Miami, he is the big red machine. He is William Montgomery, everybody. Oh! Woo! Starting off with a bang. It's really him. Make some noise for William Montgomery. Keep it going, Panama City Beach. I love it in the panhandle. Russian punk band Pussy Riot just released a new single called Rage. I just hope my grandmother doesn't download it illegally. <laughs> Russian punk band Pussy Riot just released a new single called Rage. Longtime fans are reportedly upset because the lyrics contain only Bible verses. <laughs> Russian punk band Pussy Riot just released a new single called Rage. Critics are calling it the greatest Christian rock song in years. God said, let there be light, and within minutes, FEMA appeared. <laughs> Tiger Woods is so bad at driving, he ended up in the hospital trap. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I didn't want to say anything, but Tony kneeled during the Black National Anthem the other day. <laughs> All right. Oh, there he is, closing his set. I kneeled during the Black National Anthem? Yeah, what, I saw what, that. What is the Black Na National Anthem? Ghetto uh, Symphony from the No Limit Soldiers? No, I think it's uh, Amazing Grace. Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> so, William, you've been here in Miami all week. Uh, how do you feel, bud? I have parasites. I got a parasitic infection. I ate some bad sushi two nights ago at uh, the Shoney's down here. You had sushi at Shoney's? I did. I didn't know y'all had sh uh, Shoney's buffets down here. You guys still have Shoney's here? You really that, that do? That can't be real. Wow, that's crazy. I haven't seen Shoney's since I was a young... Oh, are you doing the winks? Uh-oh, look at this. Look at this indeed. The Turn wink. that fucking dumbass shit off when I'm winking. <laughs> William, what's your favorite thing about Miami since you got here? Probably all the yoo hoos <laughs> Probably all the what? The yoo hoos the chocolate drink with water. My God. You make a lot of references of things that I haven't heard of in a long time. Yeah, yoo hoos I've been drinking them a ton. Did, can you only get those in Miami? Is it like Shoney's? Yeah, I think so. How many yoo -hoos do you think you've had in the four days that you've been here? Probably a gallon's. <laughs> a gallon's worth. It's like five little bottles, I think, is a gallon's worth of yoo -hoos. But yeah, it's so good. If you could make an adjustment and add more water or add more yoo flavor to the yoo which one would you go with? Yeah, I've always said that. Perfect. I don't know which. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know which one. You know what, William? You know what I think might be fun tonight is if you just stay over here and uh, you have a keyboard over there, don't you? Bro, my keyboard. What? You guys, you guys say, would it be okay if William was the band tonight? Yeah! What? Okay. Get over there, William. Put that mic back in the mic stand and go sit behind your keyboard. You guys are in for a very special treat tonight. William has uh, lately, the last couple road episodes, become the new musical director of the band. He is a one-man band. He, uh, he has a keyboard. And why don't you give the people a little example of what they're in for tonight? 
Are you guys excited about this or what? <laughs> William, you playing music over there? Is the volume up on there that? There is a malfunction on my keyboard. Oh, boy. Play some keys or something then. Do something. No, there's a malfunction. Okay, press Ladies other buttons. Ladies and gentlemen, button. Drago! <laughs> William, did we figure out the technical difficulties with your keyboard? I couldn't hear anything he fucking said. <laughs> did we figure out the technical difficulties? Yeah, I'm going to try to figure it out. I gotta try to figure it out. It's a real conundrum, huh? I gotta try to figure it out. Put your mouth microphone away Shut from up, the other Red microphone. Shut up, Redman. Okay, William, relax a little bit. Take a breath. Yeah, I'm on edge. Okay, very good. I had a swimmer's body, but then I still eat like a swimmer. So, so did now. I. Yeah, what if you been swimming? <laughs> I used to have a swimmer's body. And Tony, do you mind if we do one thing where I talk for you, move your lips? Okay. Okay. okay you hey, your hey, everyone. My name's Patrick. It's so nice to be here in Miami. I have a couple black parents, uh, meaning I have two sets of black parents. I'm a big fan of Herbie the Love Bug, the movie, uh, where when the car starts talking, the windshield wipers start moving. <laughs> there you go. Wow. <laughs> I, I pretended to drown. No. Can we do it one more time? Start talking. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, here he goes. Let's so do it. in 1994, I watched the movie Congo. It was a really cool movie. I got involved with some black people in my neighborhood. <laughs> uh, during July 4th, we set off some fireworks. You name it, we shot them off. I fell in love with these people. Uh, do the math on that one. Please do the math on that one. What are we talking about? A subtraction? Hell yeah. It gets better every time. On Kill Tony, here's some music from William Montgomery. This is called The Skater's Waltz. Tony, can we do one more? Yeah. Or I move your mouth like I'm ta like you're talking. I think I can okay, do it when you hear him say words. Are you ready, you piece of shit? <laughs> No, really. No. no Let, hey, can Just you ask the question William. one more He's time? He's ready. He's ready. Go ahead, William. Do it. Yeah, so I like to cook hot dogs. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I cook hot dogs next to cactuses. Uh, my uncle is missing. My grandmother's dead. Uh, I don't know where my shoes are. Wow. <laughs> William, William, it might work better... It might work better, William, if you think about what you're about to say before you start doing it. If you give it like 10 seconds of thought, I bet this whole segment could go a lot better. It's pretty incredible. You might be shocked. <laughs> okay. This is you have to start a kid, bro. Yeah. No, I miss William so much. He's my butt bunny. William and is? We, yeah. Uh-huh. And we <laughs> um, love you. <laughs> and I wrote jokes for him. So I'm going to have William read three William jokes. Oh, he wrote Zero. jokes for William to say. This is you told me we were doing cocaine last night on my balcony till five in the morning. And I had to walk his fucking crippled ass back to his place at five in the fucking morning. So let's see how these jokes are, Michael. Because I swear to God, if they're not good, I'm going to throw your ass in the swimming pool. I'm going to throw your ass in the swimming pool. Michael, okay. are you wearing underwear right now? Cover yourself up a little bit. I don't know what's <laughs> going on there. Jesus Christ. I don't know what's allowed on YouTube anymore. Hey, come on. It's the same thing he wore last night, everybody. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's... Still didn't get those white sweatpants, I guess. All right, here we go. Here we go. Michael, wait, wait, William. Wait a second. William's going to read jokes. Michael's going to move his lips. Are we ready for this, people? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Please. Here it Hist goes. Historians say that World War One was caused 
by the 1914 assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria. I don't know. I think it was caused by the blacks. <laughs> All right. Whoa, that's good. That's something I'd say. It's incredible. It sounds like I don't William trust black people. That's something I would say. Wow, I didn't realize he was going to tag the jokes as well. It's incredible, Michael. I love this Gilbert Gottfried face that you make when uh, <laughs> creating the jokes. Here goes the second joke. Uh, Jimmy Carter was a peanut farmer. He loves peanuts so much, when they get smashed into peanut butter, he cries. <laughs> wow, this is stupid. This is... That was even better than the first one, Michael. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, here's the last one. If Huey Lewis in the news put in a, put in a song today, it would be called It's Hip to be Fat. <laughs> Those are good, Michael. Keep writing for me, please. No, seriously, I need the help. Seriously. <laughs> William, William, can I ask, how can you afford cocaine? I am, uh, uh what? <laughs> I thought you were about to ask what's my favorite Game Boy game. I was about to say Herbie the Lubbock. And then I was going to say I'm just getting uh, Kirby's Dreamland. Sweet. How do you afford cocaine? Have you noticed the socks that I wear? Yeah. Do the math on that one. I'd tell you. It's money on cocaine instead of socks and clothes and food. Yeah, I know. No, we're all just joking. Oh, okay. We're You're all, all kidding around. But yeah. if somebody has some, meet me in the back. But since it's episode 500, before we go to the bucket, I think we should give you guys a special treat. You guys like special treats? Then I present to you a brand new 60 seconds from one of your favorite regulars in the history of the show, the longest standing veteran regular in the history of Kill Tony. He is the Big Red Machine. His name is William Montgomery. Here we go. <laughs> Make some noise, Laredo! Let's give it up for the Round Rock Express! What about the Rice Owls? Okay. I heard the Austin City Limits Festival is having to cut back on its budget. Instead of a Tupac hologram this year, they're going to have a claymation Frank Zappa. <laughs> New study finds tripping on your airplane stairs reduces coronavirus. New study finds letting immigrants into the country with coronavirus reduces coronavirus. <laughs> I just joined a rock band and it's called Rock Band. I only have one controller and you have to watch me play. I have a buddy who is a heroin addict and as a prank I sold him the COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> Look, I'm an anti-Semite too, but I'm not trying to gas chamber Dr. Seuss. There it is. Lock it down every week. A new 60 seconds from a stone cold assassin, William Montgomery. So nice to be here. I actually uh, took some uh, uh, Adderall earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Will I've been love looking it? at maps. Okay. Love it. You dress like a little bit of a cowboy tonight. You did like me, except you look like a man and I look like Gay Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> You've got a friend. There's a snake in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got this at J.C. Penny earlier. I stole it. I was on Adderall. <laughs> His Will commitment's remarkable. Yeah, you've seen William a couple times, right, Joe? What do you think about this? Uh, Very funny dude, man. Wild Very stuff. funny. You're funny in a really unique way, too. It's, it's cool to watch. Thank you. I look forward for you, for you inviting me on your podcast. <laughs> I think it'll be a lot of fun. Let's try it again when you don't stumble. 
<laughs> part of that will have more effectiveness. I'm sorry, I'm on Adderall right now. Did you think about when you were when you were at J.C. Penney stealing that shirt? Did it all cross your mind to perhaps steal a belt? It's very obvious that you're not wearing a belt. What are you talking about? I mean, like you're not only are you not wearing a belt, but you, your belt loops are like Audis. <laughs> they're not even like innies. They're, they're no, like, it didn't fucking cross my mind. No, your belt loops are like the reaching, fuck are you talking about, Tony? Out hoping that a belt will come to them. <laughs> William, you just flew into Austin. You've been living in LA. What's going on out there? What's happening out out here? What do you think about all this? Seems really cool. Um, who said yeah? <laughs> Who's trying to fuck this up for me? This is probably the biggest opportunity I've ever fucking had. <laughs> And some fucking dumbass is doing that. Please stop. <laughs> Please fucking stop. I'm not kidding. I'm, I swear to God, I'm not fucking kidding right now. This is I took too much Adderall earlier. I'm totally fucking on edge. My heart is breathing out of my chest. William. But I yeah, it's been really nice. It seems like a, uh, <laughs> seems like a nice place to be. Can I ask you like a comedy question? Yeah. What, what's your writing process like? Because your stuff is all like silly, sort of non sequiturs. Like, how do you do? You just sit down. Do you, do you come? How do you do it? I will. Uh, yeah. To be quite frank, I will. There are many times I will. I'm not prescribed anymore, but I will take an Adderall pill and I will smoke <laughs> some weed, and I feel like the Adderall sort of gets me in the zone. Uh, uh, and then the weed, I'm I'm thinking silly. And then I write it down. I believe you. <laughs> that explains a lot. It's great stuff, though, man. Really funny. Were you, really on, it. Were you on Adderall when you committed to talking about Adderall for half your set? I actually wasn't. I actually haven't taken Adderall today. Oh. Wow. You had to. What a twist. No, actually, I, I, my drug dealer in Los Angeles, um, I bought 10 Adderall pills for $600. That doesn't seem like a good deal at <laughs> it all. It doesn't at all. Were you on Adderall when you did that? I was that? on Adderall when I bought the Adderall. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you might like this. I've said it once before, but one of my best jokes is uh, the guy who invented Adderall must have been on Adderall. It really works better if you don't do it like right after the joke about the uh, Adderall and Adderall. You really step it's on like your a own technical punchline. thing. Yeah. <laughs> This is just a preview of the JRE episode that you'll still <laughs> see in the future. William, yeah. what are your favorite things about Austin when you visit here? Oh, man, the color yellow is everywhere. It's my favorite color. <laughs> it's like everywhere I walk around, I see the color yellow. It's one of my, yeah, one of my favorite colors. I'd say that's probably the biggest thing right now. And how does the rest of the country not know about queso? Yeah, that's crazy. That's a big deal. Do they have the white cheese dip here? Yeah, yeah whatever the queso. fuck you want. <laughs> but the, the fact that the rest of the that. country has, like, bullshit queso. Yeah. Did you have queso before you moved to Los Angeles, though? Because when I was in Ohio and I moved to L.A., I was really pissed off that the Mexican food didn't have queso. And I always... Do you think I, Mexican people are mad at Tex-Mex? Yeah. Yeah, they are, yeah. for are sure. You? Yeah, Michael Gonzalez, our new resident uh, Mexican drummer over there, I Don't was, like Tex-Mex? I was talking about Matt's El Rancho the first few episodes. They get mad at you. Here. Yeah, he was really mad. He's like, yo, dude, if you really want... <laughs> you're talking about, like, Tex-Tex-Mex. If you want Mex-Mex. Are you really Mexican? Yeah. Cool. But he sent me to this place. With that said, he did. He sent me to this place called Polvo South, and I, uh, I was hooked. The real shit. Yeah, now when the wait's too long at Matt's El Rancho, I go to the Mex-Mex. Are you all really black? Cool. William, I don't think you can talk like that wearing a shirt like that. What does that mean? I think it worked for you like when you were wearing like rock. What does that fucking mean? No, what does that mean? What does that mean, right? No, what does it mean? Yeah, what man. does that shit mean, bro? What does, yeah, what it, does mean, it mean, Tony? What does it mean? I mean, I'm just saying, you, you, were, you used to wear more likable t-shirts. Okay, okay. Now okay. you're dressed like an adult. People are going to take you seriously. Cool. <laughs> you're dressed like how like we, we, like the difference between that you in a t-shirt and you in that is before you look like you, and now you look like what we think your dad looks like. <laughs> Sweet Larry Montgomery. I think it's a good curveball, honestly. Mm -hmm. Thank I you. I think if you came up with like a rat, wacky like rock t-shirt on, people would see more coming. Yeah. But you know? I don't. I, I, yeah, just wearing that. I think I'm going to just keep wearing this shirt. Yeah, just leave it on.
It's a good shirt, but it's just a framework. I think I'm going to keep <laughs> You can build on that framework. You can have similar sort of misstyled attire <laughs> and put it all together. I'm thinking people about like, it. People are like, what is this guy doing? And then, boom, you hit him with the good jokes. I'm thinking about it. Maybe I'll start wearing this shirt all the time. What do y'all think, Laredo? <laughs> Maybe get one with rhinestones. <laughs> William, uh, you've been visiting uh, every couple weeks for like each month or so. Is there uh, anything you'd like to tell these people here about any decisions that you've made in the past couple weeks? Yeah, I don't know if you all have ever heard of the burger place called Wendy's, but I highly recommend it. There's some <laughs> Wendy's in Austin. Uh, Dave's doubles. I get Dave's a couple Dave's doubles. William, you maybe want to announce uh, that th that one thing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm moving here. Oh <laughs> wow! I I don't think anybody saw that coming. <laughs> Come on, Laredo! <laughs> got a you got an apartment in Laredo. I uh, know. I'm still looking for apartment. So if somebody uh, Take maybe him in. has an open place, let Take me know. Take him in. Take yeah. him in. Take him in. Joe, you have probably an no. open spot. Okay. That. <laughs> That's that was just like your average liberal's <laughs> reaction to real immigration. <laughs> not my house. Right. Take him Fair in. Take, not here. Not here. Not here. Over there. William, another great minute. You've been doing this longer than anybody. A totally a total accumulation. You've written hundreds of minutes on this show, right in front of these viewers' eyes, and uh, it's absolutely incredible. Congratulations on your uh, new move to Austin, Texas. And, uh, Thank you. I look forward to it. Way to get the it. show started. Ladies and Thank gentlemen, you. it has begun with the stylings of William Montgomery. Dude, that was really good. Really good. It was awesome. There goes William. He's a funny dude. Hell yeah, he is. You know what? Fuck it. Why don't we just start it off with the longest tenured regular of all time. This guy simply will not stop writing a brand new minute every single week. From Los Angeles, California. You call him the Big Red Machine. I present to you one of the best in the world. It's the great William Montgomery, everybody. Just debuting another brand new 60 seconds for us. <laughs> Come on, make some noise for William Montgomery. Thank you so much, San Antonio. It's great to be in Texas where everybody's not all woke. Hell, now you got Delta Airlines being all woke and Major League Baseball being all woke. About the only thing not woke these days is DMX. <laughs> and I would like to thank my father, Larry Montgomery, for sending me that joke via text message a couple days ago. <laughs> and then in the text, he said, it's funny because DMX OD'd and was in a coma and is now dead. I hate to say it, but if you aren't watching C-SPAN 3, you are officially gay. Let's give it up for C-SPAN 3! You know you're bad at golf when you play with Tiger and the next day he decides to drive off a cliff. That's a David Spade joke. The man has been playing golf since he was two and then one day plays with David Spade and then wants to give it all up. Makes you wonder if you played golf with Chris Farley the day before he died. Wow, Jesus. William Montgomery taking <laughs> massive chances here tonight. Massive risks. Those are, those are either, that's what we call risk and reward, everybody. It's one thing to take a shot at the great DMX, but, I mean, my God, to add the ever-likable and white Chris Farley to the... And then you threw your dad under the bus, like, oh, yeah, my dad sent me this. Shut up, Red Man. You told me to say that. <laughs> you fucking... You were the one who told me to say that. No, that's... I thought it was funny that his dad, uh... That his dad told him to say the DMX <laughs> joke. I love it. William, uh, did you find out what... Who is DMX? Oh, okay. Perfect, perfect time to ask that question. Uh, he's a musician. He's a rapper. You know this, William? Yes. Okie dokie. Uh, hell yeah. Very good. Uh, did you find out what C-SPAN 3 was this week? Yes, I did. I saw it on uh, HLN. What? <laughs> HLN. It's another television channel. That's the Forensic Files Network. It's forensic is what that Files is. Network. All right, William. What else has been happening this week? 
I, I have been looking for places to live. Oh. Why did what you laugh that? at that? <laughs> I've been looking at, for places to live. I've been wearing this outfit the whole fucking time. <laughs> Nobody is giving me any chances to sign a lease. I also have a criminal record, a pretty extensive one, so I think maybe that hurts. Ooh la la. Anybody want to take a guess at uh, what William has a criminal record for? Yeah, masturbating in a park. Yeah. At- He's definitely a, a diddly count- camp counselor. Yeah. <laughs> What do you guys think of uh, What do you guys think of uh, William Montgomery's performance here uh, tonight? I can't hear it over the uh, brightness of his legs. <laughs> <laughs> and you can kind of see my pink skin underneath this white shirt. What? Yeah, you, you can kind of see my pink skin under this white shirt. I have very pink skin. Yeah, it is pink under there. That's very interesting. I see what you're talking about. It looks like uh, it looks. Oh. There it is. They, someone called the fire department. Thank you, Michael. So, uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> William, have you, have you been eating a lot since uh, be, being in Austin? Yeah, I ate some pizza yesterday. I ate some pasta the day before. I am. This fire pretty... trucks going around in circles around the block. It seems. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who's drive. I don't know what's going on there. It's really fucked my setup. <laughs> <laughs> That's what did it. it was the... I was here to ask Mark if I could start opening for him, and then my fucking set just got sabotaged. Mark, oh. I'm here to ask you. I mean, when can I start opening up for you? Oh, shit. I didn't oh. know you did comedy. <laughs> I'm <Yes>. joking. <laughs> fun, fun stuff. I'm yeah. going to ask Larry to open for me. Uh, yeah. Will you really? Yeah. Uh, can I be there? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I love that Larry wrote that DMX joke. That's absolutely uh, hilarious. No, that's a pretty good one. What happened to him? Uh, the dad? DMX. Uh, oh, um, uh, he died. What? <laughs> yeah, he died. Stop it, Holy Mark. shit. Man, I hope Prince William's okay, too. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think it's, what was that? Philip, right? Philip, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Damn it. <laughs> Prince ah. William is okay. I'm glad to be able to Damn inform it. you. Prince ah. William's totally fine. I don't Mark, know my Mark, I know you're a big fan of cars. <laughs> Are you familiar with Hyundai Elantras? Oh, yeah. Have you ever driven one? Yes. What color? Blue. Yeah, I used to have a blue one, too. <laughs> all right, this is, this is the worst <laughs> speed date of all time. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> William. <laughs> I thought, I thought bringing you out was going to be better than taking a massive <laughs> chance and pulling a name out of the bucket to start the show. <laughs> no. Boy, this sh- the surprises never end on a show like this, i got to <laughs> tell you. For you to come up and... <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, Will, William, uh, I, I saw you yelling at this guy the other day, and I, it made me think, have you ever been in a fight before? I have not. No. I, uh, there was this kid named Kevin Cook at Memphis University School who I... I, I went to school with, and he used to borrow my pins, and one day I stuck one of the pins in my butt and gave it to him, and he put it in his mouth, and he didn't show up to school for the next couple of days, and when he showed back up, he, uh, he almost beat me up. <laughs> what did he say to you? What did he... he was angry I had stuck the pin in my butt. <laughs> Do you remember uh, anything that he said? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, William. Uh, how about a big hand for everybody? It's not All easy right. writing All a right. new minute Thank every you. week. One of the hardest jobs in show business. If you don't believe me, rewind six minutes and rewatch that. William Montgomery, everybody. Make some noise for William, everybody. I'm just busting his balls. I never really make fun of William. I liked William's set. Yeah. I like that uh, Larry's his ghost rider and DMX is his rough rider. <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank you. Since there's so many of you here, why don't we start off with something special? Uh, this guy has his own entrance music because he is the longest standing regular in the history of the show. Uh, beating out Ali Makovsky's record. He has been a regular for, geez, I think almost frickin' three years or something. We might have to get rid of him soon. <laughs> something crazy. He writes and performs a brand new minute every week. He has an incredible style. He's the real deal. I call him the Big Red Machine. Make some noise for your first comedian, 
not out of the bucket, a regular, all the way from Los Angeles. Make some noise for William Montgomery, everybody. Wow. It's really him. Yeah, it really is fucking me. My dad's so old, he used to spank me. (laughs) My dad's so old, he remembers when Dr. Seuss was a sex symbol. (laughs) My dad's so old, he banged Jesus' mom and convinced her to claim it was a miracle pregnancy. I love how we're supposed to listen to Bill Gates about COVID as if he isn't responsible for a software that is constantly being exploited by viruses. (laughs) Did anyone else cry during Blue Man Group? (laughs) I'm starting a home improvement store that sells fans and fans only. I'm just trying to think of what to call it. Let me, let me do that one more time, and y'all say OnlyFans at the end of it. <laughs> I'm starting a home improvement store that sells fans and fans only. I'm just trying to think of what to call it. OnlyFans. Fan. My God, thank y'all so much. Wow, there it is. William Montgomery getting the show started with a bang. Always fun to have the great and powerful. You are really sunburned. Yeah, I went golfing today. Thank you, <laughs> William. God, where were you? It's fun to have someone uh, redder than you on stage for a change, huh? <laughs> I'm the medium red machine. Red man, shut it off. <laughs> Thank you. William, welcome back. No, to but you're really sunburned. Austin. Oh, oh, okay. No, well, I'm sorry. I smoked a bunch of weed out back. I think it maybe was spice. So okay. I am badly on edge. Fresh off of spice. Okay. Very good. Welcome back to the show. William, you are have a very indented belly button this evening. I'm noticing Whoa. <laughs> it appears as if though perhaps someone is that has been, funny? Is someone has been digging at your belly button. Can you explain why your belly button is so concave on it? Yeah, I like actually this? last night I watched a wonderful movie called One Hour Photo. Um, <laughs> today I bought a bunch of stock in Nikon. Okay. Did you and pay for it that you, out of with Bitcoin that you found in your belly button? No, I've actually I've actually started a new form of cryptocurrency. Uh, uh-huh. It's called Baby Ruth. Oh, okay. So you're, it's the candy bar. Why didn't y'all laugh at that? That was hilarious. I thought you were gonna go lint coin. Can you not <laughs> fucking say anything? <laughs> Hey, fuck you. Can you fucking shut your mouth? Lint coin has been called on the field. What's that red spot on your shirt? Oh, it's part of the shirt. No, it's actually blood. Okay. (laughs) How do you get blood on your shirt? I uh, started doing a cat's cradle. It is a a game that you use. uh, It's a big thing of string. Uh Uh, And I was doing a cat's cradle last night as I was watching One Hour Photo, and I... Really messed my tummy up. Yeah, how'd you do that? By digging at just your belly my button? finger. <laughs> <laughs> just my finger. I really hurt myself. William, with my what's finger. one of your favorite things about Austin, Texas? You keep coming back. It appears like every week and a half now. It used to be once probably a month. the horrible fucking heat. <laughs> yeah. I was sweating like a motherfucker earlier. Tony, I'll be quite frank. I don't think I should move here. Whoa. (laughs) I hate this place. Uh. I hate Austin. They're booing you, William. What do you want to say to these people? They're booing you. Y'all buy my cryptocurrency. You can get it (laughs) at (laughs) 7-Eleven. You literally have to buy a Baby Ruth bar. And I get the proceeds... How do you get the proceeds? 7-Eleven gives it to you? It is one of those things where when you go to a restaurant and you take a picture of the menu. What is that called? Y'all help me out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Red Band just got you so good with that sound effect. I don't he know if you did. heard that. Yeah, it really owned he you. He did. He's a real bitch tonight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up. He's a real motherfucker tonight. Uh, don't make Do you want to tell these people what we did at your fucking house last week? Yeah, I fucked We your- kissed. <laughs> we made out with each other Whoa. and Janice watched. Yeah. 
It was in virtual reality, but I also fucked your belly last night. Oh, wow. Is that what happened? I, I didn't realize Red Band's dick could do that much well, damage you to see. somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you finally fucking really... Yeah, good, good thinking on the drums on that one. <laughs> William, My God! William is attacking everything. He got Afro Man on the bass guitar. <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> goodness, are you roasting people, William? I've never seen this. I am before. roasted on spice. <laughs> he is on spice. K2! Perhaps, perhaps a little dehydrated from a hot day today. I am really dehydrated. How do you know? What are your symptoms of dehydration? I have only been drinking you <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> You who is not the drink to have. We, we, we it is a chocolate water drink. Yeah, it is. <laughs> How many you? And I've had probably four of them today. Four, four you sixteen ounces. Today. Oh my God, William, you are. I've awesome. been sweating all over the fucking place. Going to se- stop that, Red Man. <laughs> that was a cat. It was a real cat. That I've been going to 7 Eleven. That wasn't all- even Red Band. That was an actual. I think an like- actual cat. I'm not <laughs> buying it. <laughs> okay. Uh, William, what else? What else has happened this week? Anything else since the last time we saw you? I am addicted to the movie Pretty Woman. I don't oh. know if you all have seen that one. It is a a masterpiece. It is a 20th century delight. How many times? Do you, what, what is addicted? Yeah, play that song again and let's you and I kiss, Red Band. William, yeah, stick with me over here. When you say that you're addicted to Pretty Woman, how many times have you watched it? Like twice in the past three years. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's a very serious it addiction. Is a, it's no Hellraiser, but <laughs> William travels all the way from Los Angeles for this show. How cool is that, right, people? For you here at Antones, his part doesn't even go on the show on the internet. We edit it out. If y'all, right? if y'all could only imagine, what'd you just say? Yeah, I was telling just, them that it's very special. You perform just for these people. We haven't. If put- y'all could only picture what I am seeing in my mind, I am picturing going to one of y'all's tall buildings and fucking jumping off. Oh. After this fucking set, I've been sweating all day. People aren't buying my shit. I'm going to jump off a building. That's right. You have a new T-shirt available. Where can they buy that at? Yeah, y'all, y'all look at my merch. Where, um, you, you have to pl- it's a new Cracker Barrel you have to plug shirt. The, plug, the, plug the site, William. This is your one chance to do this. On Instagram.com, my name is William.F.Montgomery1. Wow, this is a great promotion. Y'all get the link on there. All <laughs> proceeds go to my mother. Hit the link on your Instagram, William? Where did Hit they go the to link. buy the T-shirt? That's Hit the gonna... link on my Instagram. Jesus. All proceeds go to my sweet papa, Larry Montgomery. He is co-signing on my apartment tomorrow. Hey, <laughs> new apartment in Austin. Wait, how old? Are, how old are you, William? I am thirty-four, and, you and don't I'm have... acting like a wow. fucking college student. <laughs> yes, because I have no credit. I have no verifiable income. I am fucking going to 7-Elevens trying to tell people to buy fucking Baby Ruth's. <laughs> They're not. That's a lie. I was lying to y'all about that. It's not a true thing. It's not Bitcoin. Wow. I totally thought you were being serious when you said that you started your own <laughs> cryptocurrency made out of Baby Ruth's exclusively sold at 7-Eleven. But yeah, I want, I, would, <laughs> I, I want to thank my sweet papa, Larry Montgomery, uh, for a co-signing on the apartment tomorrow. All right. Well, William, we're very <laughs> excited to have you in town. <clears throat> this was a great way to start the show. How about you guys make some noise for William Montgomery, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling you guys were going to do that.